the NRA and gun lobbyists might win. But oh, that was good news for us. I don't know how long this Saturday in the state of Tennessee might last. But oh, we have good news, folks. We've got good news that Sunday always comes. Civil disobedience is what built this country. Resisting the status quo built the United States of America into the institution that it is. And it's my ancestors' resistance that got me here. And so I will not forget them or forget the struggles of people. I'm running for president of BSG. There are a few reasons that we're running this campaign this year. One has to do with representation. How can we represent all voices in a conversation? I wanted to do this by partnering with organizations from the Boone Democrats to the Boone Republicans. You may get reappointed. Will you accept the appointment? And, and do you plan on running in the special election? Yes, I would be honored to accept the appointment of the Shelby County Commission and to run in a special election. And I've already heard that people in uh, the state legislature and in Nashville are actually threatening our Shelby County commissioners to not reappoint me mm. or they're going to take away funding that's in the governor's budget. I'm proud to be a bartender. Ain't nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with working retail, folding clothes for other people to buy. There is nothing wrong with preparing the food that your neighbors will eat. I don't feel no ways tired. I come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. Hello, everybody. Oh, it's wonderful to be in Jacksonville. Duval! <laughs> they know when we vote that we vote for justice, we vote for fairness. They know we know what's on the ballot in 2020. Justice is on the ballot in 2020. Economic justice is on the ballot in 2020. Criminal justice reform is on the ballot in 2020. We know. What we have at stake and we know our power and that's why we will vote every day until election day and get this thing done. When Hurricane Andrews struck in Florida, people said, look at this devastation. We don't expect you to come up with your own money here. Here's the money to rebuild. We're not going to wait for you to scratch it together because you're part of the American family. What's happening down in New Orleans? Where's your dollar? Where's your Stafford Act money? Makes no sense. Tells me the bullet hasn't been taken out.